Hi everyone, just a quick walkthrough this week. So I'm just doing a case study for the York Fashion Week promo images that we created in, at the beginning of the year. So this is one of them here. So I'm just gonna, going to take you through the steps it took to create the neon sign behind and some of the glow. So basically this is how the image started out. So we shot this image at York Photo Studio. Uh, the team was me, Nima, a local agency in York, and Beetroot Box, again, a local videographer from York. So the brief was to create some teaser marketing images for York Fashion Week. So we kind of went with a concept which had a neon sign in the background and the model was supposed to be lit by the neon sign. Obviously, we didn't have uh, a neon sign what related to York Fashion Week so with the magic of Photoshop we thought we would put one in the background with Photoshop and then place a model on it obviously we shot the models to reflect like there was a sign actually behind them so we shot the model in the studio with two gelled uh, strip lights to, to from behind to get this rim and then we had one with a little bit of blue on to fill in the shadows from the front so if I move down, I'm just going to walk you through the layers. So I, I extended the scene, obviously uh, I shot in portrait to get um, more pixels in the image of the actual model. So just to extend the scenes, I basically just, uh, I think I cut a section here and extended it that way and then just moved to the other side and then just retouched the area where the scenes were. Now after extending the scene, I changed the colour balance, I added some more blue into the shadows here. Obviously we shot with blue but the kind of it was lost in the image. You can see a bit here on some of the other Im images it, it's a little bit stronger but kind of a lot of the outfits were dark so the, kind, the blue just kind of uh, disappeared into the dark so I just kind of brought the blue back out in the front of the image. And if we scroll up a little bit here. so. York Fashion Week sent me their logo, which was just a, I believe it was a PSD uh, vector. So all I did was just bring it into the image and I then, with a layer mask, after masking out round the model with the pen tool, just masked out the area where the model was. And I have obviously as well added a little bit of an outer glow with uh, the effect styles here on the logo vector giving this kind of glow here and then from there I just played around with the color to match the surroundings and then again this is a hue saturation uh, adjustment layer clip to that logo and then I just with layer styles began to paint in glow effects so when you see a neon sign it usually has hot spots down the center of the neon sign so here I painted in those hot spots on this blank layer, on linear dodge, I then added some more glow to the whole of the sign. Again, although this time with screen on a screen blend mode, as you can see, where I've just been painting in with a brush. I then added some more stronger glow to the image. This time with color dodge, and then I painted over. Again, some more glow, but this time encroaching the model a little bit, going over the overlapping the model for realism. This time it was on linear dodge, and then the last piece of glow here. Again, just a specific little bits, just kind of overlapping the model, and that was on a screen blending mode. So that was all the kit, all the the uh, glow effects added to the vector to the logo to make it look realistic. So this is without, that is with. And then I began to dodge and burn the image a little bit just to bring out some details in the face of the guy and in some of the clothing. Again, I then duplicated that to make it a little bit stronger, as you can see on the tie here. Just adding some depth to the model. And then with curves, I just darkened the outside of the image to focus our eyes towards the center to the model. And then to finish off the image, I then added some overlay effects. So sometimes you get uh, lens effects in the camera when something is bright there, you get these little dust spots. So I added some of them in 
and I then again just darkens the outside as you can see here you just using a layer mask I always work non-destructively so again this is non-destructive and then this would be the sharpening here uh, I just sharpened the image and then I would have on uh, locally just painted in where I wanted the sharpening I would have done, I wouldn't just sharpen the whole image I would locally sharpen just specific areas I want the eye to go to so that's it for this week a very quick walkthrough of how to add a glowing neon sign behind your model or how I did it obviously this is Photoshop there are a million ways to do it so if you know any different ways please feel free to leave a comment and thanks guys